Hi, welcome back to Our World Outdoors. Today I am going to give you my six month review of my 3FUL 40 plus 16 pack. So, some of the things that I really like about this pack is I really like the shoulder straps. They're nice and thick, cushioned very well. I like the, um, the belt. It's very cushioned. And I like the size of the pockets on the belt. I also really like the trekking pole holders. Those worked out really well for me. I didn't have those on my previous pack. The mesh is very nice. Some of the things that I don't like about my pack is you can't really adjust the torso length very well. And I'm very short, so it doesn't really fit me. So that is my biggest complaint on this pack. It has a pocket here, because it's a frameless pack where you can put your sit pad in it. I don't use that, so this is kind of useless to me. Some people may like it, but that's kind of, you know, hmm. Doesn't make a difference to me. I like how big the pockets are for your water bottles and your side pockets. The one thing that I don't like about it is my pack started to fray. So, not a big deal though because the cord still worked really well. It didn't affect absolutely anything. But I do like that this strap is close to the pocket because it holds my water bottles in there more securely. Um, that's where I always carry my water is in these side pouches. Let's see. Another thing that I wasn't real big on is the uh, chest strap is below these. And I can't adjust it up here. And I probably really needed it a little bit higher. Alright. Let's take a closer look at the pack. And I'll explain more. Okay guys, as you can see, the mesh has no holes in it. It's uh, still in good condition. Um, it is the doubled over mesh, so that's a big pocket. I really like that. Uh, it can hold a lot on the outside, easy to get to. The cord hasn't frayed at all does really well look at the side of the pack so that's how big these pockets are which is really nice because if you're taking like 20 ounce bottles with you or whatever you could actually put two of those in there but I put one now an important thing to point out here is it has a spot to where the water will drain out for you but I didn't know what that was and Tony explained it to me later, but I was like, oh, why is this like this? Because I want I started to put things in there that could have possibly fell out of that hole. So you just need to know that's what that is there for. As you can see, all of the threads have not started to pull apart or anything. It's actually in very good condition. I'm very impressed. It's been on several hikes. There is nothing other than the one pocket, which I'll show you in a minute, that has any actual shown of wear and tear. Love the hip belt. As you can see, it's very nicely padded. Um, the pockets in here are great. I can put my cell phone, a snack, and my battery pack all in one of these. So those are really, really super nice. This is the holder for if you're going to put your sit pad in it. As you can tell, it kind of got droopy and I used it maybe twice. And then I decided that I just didn't like having that there because it would slip out. You're supposed to put it behind those straps up there and it just would slip and I didn't like it. So I only used it like twice. For me, I could do without this, but I don't know. Some people may like it. The shoulder straps I absolutely love because they are so cushioned. This, the chest strap could have probably be above here, but once again, they're probably thinking of more of a longer torso, which it, I think it fits Tony quite well being where it's at. Just for me being so short, it just didn't quite work for me. Um, I don't really use these, but I can see where they would be useful. Turn it over more. Okay, right here is where I'm talking about that this pocket 
started to fray as you can see but it was just inside the stitch line which pulled out but this did not fail me in any way because it's actually you know it's the cord that keeps it cinched in there so this is just cosmetic um, I have a friend who's gonna fix this for me and she'll just sew it right in she'll reseam it it'll be great and it'll be fine overall I'm pretty impressed with this pack I mean durability has been wonderful honestly the only complaint I have is the torso length and shame on me not on them I probably should have known being as short as I am that it would make it harder to just buy a pack straight without um, and be able for it to fit my torso so later we're gonna do some modifications to this I'm very impressed with the pack though okay so I am not gonna go into the weight and specs and all that but there will be a link to a video in the description below. If you're interested in that, please make sure you check it out because all the information is in there. So, for a $50 to $60 pack, would I recommend this? Absolutely, 100%, I would recommend this pack. This pack has been in multiple states on multiple hikes. Um, I did myself, I think, 63 hikes this year, and this pack was probably on at least half of those so it has been out and seen some miles um, definitely a wonderful pack the only thing I would say is if you did buy the pack you might think about there may be some modifications that you might decide you want to do to it if you are a shorter person uh, I think it would fit any relative average male okay so upcoming in the future i am going to have some modifications done it will shorten the torso length um, to fit me better i'm definitely still going to continue using this pack i'm not changing it out because i love the pack all except for that uh, and then we will get the pocket repaired which shouldn't be very hard easy fix um, and then this should fit me much better and we may even move this up, I'm not sure yet. I'm thinking that we probably will. So I hope this video has been informative and I hope it helps you to make a decision on whether or not you would be interested in this pack. And I will see you in the next one.